Welcome back. This is episode number 19. We are here on the transponder ship. And before we go inside, I want to call out Malavai Quinn. Because he seems to think that here will uh, make things a bit easier. It's not a big vessel anyway. I'm not sure if mechanically if it actually matters who you have with you. But I'm going to go with it just in case. Because you never know. I would certainly love to do this with a minimal loss of Imperial life. It's easy, it's moral. Uh oh. Quinn, quick run. Damn it, that's dead end. Run this way, run this way. They saw us, damn it. Oh well. Having a healer would be nice, even though his gear totally sucks at this point. There's so many buttons. Alright. Ah, not sure. Server. Maybe if you don't have him, you have to go that way. Not sure. That's cool. Oh wait, what? Oh, I guess you're preventing reinforcements from coming down. Maybe that's the idea. Uh, I don't know. My lord, I regret that our paths must diverge. Out of respect, I wanted to be here to witness your fate. Uh-oh. I feel like he's betraying me. See, I had a suspicion that he would be loyal to Barris and the Empire, but I'm working for the... I figured that eventually he would come around. See, because remember he said that, and he sounded convincing, but he had that negative one affection gain, which made me think he was lying. I mean, we're serving the Emperor now. He shouldn't be betraying me. But he was Barriss' man from the start. Hmm. I've got a bad feeling about this. Your senses have always been keen. It pains me, but this entire scenario is a ruse. There's no martial law and no special oh, signal. Oh, he had me go, and I'll admit that. Barriss is my true master. He had me lure you here to have you killed. I should have trusted the lieutenant. Huh. This is the worst betrayal possible. I act today with a heavy heart. Barris has always been the anchor of my career and, in my opinion, of the Empire. I didn't want to choose between the two of you. But he's forced my hand and I must side with him. Once you're gone, your crew will either join Barris with me or be killed. See, whenever there's a scenario like that where there's two people you have to choose between and one of them says, like, you know, I hate him. You choose between the two of us. The person who makes you choose should always be the person you never side with, because otherwise it only encourages them to make that tough. Like, if both of them, they're the ones causing the issue. If neither one if both is forcing you to make that decision, everybody's happy. So, I don't know if that... I'm having a hard time putting that thought into words. Hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. Like, because Barris is the one in this scenario saying... You, know, you have to choose between the two of us, our allegiance. He was the one that betrayed me, not me betraying him. Quinn should side with me, the one getting betrayed, the one who didn't cause the strife. But because he side with the one who caused the strife, Barris gets everything he wants. So that, that only encourages him to do, that rewards him from doing what he did. And breaking up, you know, the good thing we had going, essentially. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Barris defies the Emperor. You know who I'm working for now, Captain. If you stand with Barris, you stand against the Emperor himself. The Emperor is an absentee landlord. Barris is doing what any real patriot would do. After all his time observing you in battle, I have exhaustively noted your strengths and weaknesses. These really... war droids have been programmed specifically to combat you. I calculate a near zero percent chance of their failure. Not the first to underestimate me. Um, ah, damn it, I was going to say. God, that, that quickly. All right, anyway. Um, your confidence in the odds is your biggest weakness. If anything, I am underestimating my droid's chances. You'll find they are virtually immune to you. I'm sorry it's come to this, my lord. We'll see. Do you think she face him too? That'd be cool. As I said, you, you can't kill any companions in the entire game, so obviously it doesn't end that way. Come on, what's going on now? Don't tell me it's bugging out on me. Seriously? 
I'm going to keep talking and see if anything happens. Um, it's, it's really cool to have a companion turn on you like this. And I actually, oh, I guess I'm DCing. All right, be right back. All right, sorry about that. I guess it was just a DC. Internet went out for a second, but we'll skip through this really quickly. It pains me, but this entire back. This I, I did once. Your uh, you will be after these. Your com if anything, sorry, it's come to this, my lord. I feel like I was saying it's really cool. Oh, I don't have a companion now. I guess I should have brought somebody else. This could be actually really hard without a companion. Oh, Quinn. Alright, they actually, despite being strong, they don't seem that strong. I feel like something is this here. They must not actually be programmed to be strong. Yeah, none of these guys have a lot of health. Despite being at my level. Or at least he is, are they? No, they're not. I guess because he's a companion, he's at your level. Still, it's really cool that they have a companion betray you like this. And I'm pretty sure he's the romance interest. Oh, maybe it's the lieutenant, though? I figured it would be him. For a female inquisitor. I wonder if he still does this if you're in a romance with them. Will he still betray you? Will that make it all the worse? Or will he still... I don't know. Will the quest go differently? Or will it just be skipped? I imagine he still betrays you, but that's kind of sloppy writing. In my, in my perspective. Anyway, let's uh, talk to him now that we have him defeated. I should have known. I thought I'd programmed the perfect killing machine for you. I was painstakingly precise. After all our time together, have you not realized that I am unbeatable? I'm at a loss. I have betrayed you. Conspired with your most hated enemy. I know it is meaningless to express my deep regret. I don't expect your mercy. Yeah, you don't have a... You don't have much of a choice. Obviously, you can't kill companions. Um, I think Orbano would be really pissed at him, but he could be useful. I will keep you alive, and we will see if you earn my trust again. My lord, I... This is unexpected. Darth Barris would never forgive such a failure. Aren't you glad you work for me? You permit me to stay in your charge. My dedication to you will never come into question again. I will not hesitate to destroy you the next time. There will be no next time. I swear, but this interruption has delayed you enough. I'm eager to return to the ship and put this behind us. It's a cool twist of the quest, though. I wonder if you have a companion with you if the fight goes a little differently and if you both get to fight him. Or if you have to use him for this one, maybe. The ship is through there. Prepare for departure. I'll join you shortly. Of course, my lord. One thing, my lord. Do you plan on telling the others what happened? Um. <laughs> Even this isn't really much of a choice. It's no, later, or no. I'd rather tell them, because that way they can help me keep an eye on him so he doesn't do it again. But, um... I guess you can't do it right away because they have to write new dialogue for it. Like, that's, that's being lazy. They should have written new dialogue for it. That's... I'm sorry, that's what you do when you write a story for a game. When it's appropriate, I will inform them. I appreciate it, my lord. I will see you back at the ship. Choices without choices, yay. Alright, other than that, though, it was a, uh... A cool quest idea. I was honestly... They had me going. I will... I will give them that. So let's go back to the ship. I mean, he even tricked me by saying, Oh, I would suggest bring me to spare Imperial casualties. And, yep, I... I bought it. I brought him with me. Could have brought Jaysa, who despite being a reformed Jedi, I actually trust more than him. Well, I didn't before this, but I, I do now. Alright. Let's head to Corellia then. And see what our real mission is. Corellia is here in the core worlds. One route away from uh, Coruscant. I believe. Unfortunately, you can't go to Coruscant as an Imperial. Well, except the stronghold there. You can be smuggled in, but... Especially where, if, when you think about it, if you're like an Inquisitor, like if you're a member of the Dark I Council and you're smuggled into Coruscant. The Lurch is near. Roth, you are there to protect Darth Bauron from Barriss' threats. Our efforts to locate his secret headquarters are ongoing. Another digit of the hand will tap the Roth. Meanwhile, we are tracking three assassins arriving on secret landing fields. It will be difficult to stop them all. 
Bad news always brightens my mood. Transmitting the coordinates for all three landing strips. Received, my lord. These killers are but the first. There will be more. Bauron actively defies Barris. If he dies, Barris will be named the voice of the Emperor. I get the stakes. Protect Darth Bauron at all costs and aid in his attempts to undermine our enemy. Goodbye. My lord, I'm detecting a forced transmission. I assume you still recognize me. Consider yourself fortunate that I am reaching out like this. What a mess with them. I'm sorry, should I know you? Your wit has not improved. It must be ignorance driving your actions. As wronged by me as you may feel, surely you are not intentionally defying the Emperor. I'm here to tell you that you are being deceived. The organization you work for is not the Emperor's hand. <laughs> See, that occurred to me, actually. And I mean, I, just, I assume they're telling the truth because that would make the most sense of the plot. But there really was no way I could know that those two random guys were not serving the Emperor. However, the guy I met on Voss, that was pretty convincing. That definitely sounded like the Emperor um, and fit all known lore descriptions of him. So that kind of convinced me. Um, I was going to say something else about Barris too, but I will have to say it later because I forgot what it was. You're the deceiver, Barris. I don't blame you for doubting me, and I will not apologize for my actions. I am the voice of the Emperor. Don't sound like him. And there is a reason for all we do. In the end, what you think does not matter. So believe what you will. But your handlers have you in over your head, sticking your wet nose in Darth business. So you think he would like change the voice modulator in his mask to at least make him sound like the Emperor to try to trick people? And like, the other thing too is if he was the voice of the Emperor, he'd be the Emperor. Why would he need to be on the Dark Council? Like, obviously this is just a power grab. I've gotten under your skin, haven't I? Your lack of sight is almost laughable. Walk away now. And perhaps our previous animosities can be swept aside. The nerve. He's gonna forgive you. <laughs> I was gonna say something about like his mask or something, but I don't know, whatever. The man has lost his mind. No more talk. Barris's assassins must be stopped. Where that they would send I don't know I, I'm not sure how assassins are gonna kill a member of the Dark Council, but doesn't hurt to be safe, because then again, I killed one, so they're not as invincible as they would have you think. It is going to be kind of tedious going to three different locations, find three different assassins. It's not very interesting story-wise, but that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. So I will see you guys when we find the first assassin. All right, time to stop the first assassin. A little cutscene started triggering as soon as I got in here. I hit escape, because I like to do that if I trigger them by accident. So that I can restart them and you guys can see them, but there's nothing to click on to redo it. So hopefully we didn't miss anything important there. Oh, a droid. Sith, identify yourself. Um. I'm the one who's going to send you to the scrap pile. You have been classified as a threat to my mission and must be destroyed. Target locked. All right, let's dance. <laughs> I don't have a companion. Stupid Quinn betrayed me. This could be hard then, because this guy's actually an elite. Yeah, not that hard. Alright. One assassin down. Two to go. All right, here we are at the location of the second assassin, and I uh, started the recording before walking inside this time. So if there's a cutscene, which oh, there we go, perfect. Oh, I guess it's just the sound of him landing, or the movie of him landing. All right, so we didn't miss much. I'm guessing the first one was the same thing. Come on, let's head to the rooftop. At least these aren't like super long, tedious quests. Like it's it's pretty much three parts of the same quest. Oh, an SIS assassin. 
He must have uh, hired him using spies or something. Typical Barris. A welcoming committee. <laughs> Some days you just can't land secretly on a planet, even on a secret landing strip. If you know what's good for you, you will get back in your ship and forget about your assignment. If you knew who sent me, you'd know that would not be good for me. I know who you are. You're the apprentice Darth Barris thought he had killed. Marvelous. I've studied you, followed your exploits across the galaxy. You're a personal hero of mine. If you know me, you know what I'll do to you if we fight. You don't have to tell me. I've kept track of your kills. The way you handled Lord Grathen on Dromund Kos was genius. Yes, I know his son's behind the mask now. You took out Noman Carr and Admiral Monk and the War Trust and countless Jedi. Good, good stuff. Maybe I can persuade him to join me? Doubtful, but we'll give it a try. It's nice to be appreciated. It's an honor to meet you. So sad I have to kill you. I've imagined facing you, and given my knowledge, I have pretty good ideas on taking you down. Well, here, let me show you. You know, Quinn said the same thing, and he knows me better than you did. Didn't care much better. I still have a companion, though. Ah, oh, that was a delay. We still have all. I need another stuff. Oh, I'm just gonna go with Master Kirk. Definitely won't interrupt him though, it seems to be the key. Alright, Jason. You're up. I'm here. Alright. Only one assassin to go. Alright, so third location. There was no ship landing this time. Which is good, because I obviously just started the recording right now. Have you set the assassin this time? Um, oh. There's nobody here. Did they slip past us? Quite possible. Ralph, I mark your position. Servant the third 11. of the three secret landing strips. Your third target arrived earlier than expected. I am Servant 11 of the Hand. You were told to expect my call. How many of you are there? Unknown. I have only seen and conversed with Servant 1 and 2, but this is inconsequential. I have discovered Darth Valron's secret headquarters. Uploading coordinates now. He is operating within hostile territory. A massive tower in the heart of Incorporation Island. All Republic controlled. Amazing. The man is daring. I'll give him that. Yes. He orchestrates the war against the Republic right under their very noses. His operations must be disguised as Republic. But if I found him, Barris's missing assassin could too. Hold? Yes? I will convey it. Eleven out. Servant two has spoken to me. He says to be ready for suspicion. <laughs> Why couldn't it be Servant one? He's so much more direct and clear. The message is cryptic. Tell me what it means. Darth Valron will be hard to convince. You should prepare for battle. My mission is complete. I am recalled. The Hand hopes you find Valron before the assassin strikes. Well, let's get to it then. Interesting that the lower number seems to be the more important, the higher ranking. Which, in a way, doesn't make sense because then the people who are higher numbers have more not like if there's a servant 23 he knows there are at least 23 whereas servant 11 only knows there are at least 11 unless maybe there are only three of them and they just gave her 11 just to mess with her that'd be funny if it was true but i doubt it is but um i kind of like the idea of having an organization where oh we take the tram i love the tram um <laughs> where like the higher rank is a higher you know, the higher number is a higher rank but nobody knows what the highest number is so even the only, I guess the highest ranking person would really know he reports directly to the Emperor. So it could only be maybe Servant 237 is the second highest, but only he knows he's second highest. Servant 236 could be second highest. He could be 500th highest. He wouldn't really know. But um, I 
think I'm overthinking that. Because that's not the way it is, unfortunately. Alright, so we'll take the tram. And uh, head to... Where are we going? The Occupied Corporate Tower. Oh, this isn't a tram, it's a speeder. Darn it, I like the tram. I want to show you guys the tram. Anyway, I will, uh, in that case, just see you there when I get there. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Alright, after a nice speeder ride that was definitively not a tram. Happy about that. Um, we are here at the tower, and apparently we have to destroy some shield generators, I guess. To get to the boss. Can we climb up these? Oh, we can't? Seriously? Uh... Alright. Let's kill some Republic, then. Force people disguised as Republic as it may be. Alright. Heal up a bit. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we hit level 50 while we were exploring. Just from exploration XP, so that's kind of cool. I now have a 50 or higher of every class, yay! Not every advanced class, but every class. Some of them are various levels between, like, most of them are 56 or higher. Right, I think all of them that are above 34 are 56 or higher. Because that's when you get your 6 companion slot for crew skills, which is the reason I have most of my characters. Why is he gray? Can we sneak by them? God damn it! But, whoa! Oh, we aggro two of them, and apparently he has a snipe attack. I'm dead. I'm... Break it! Two... We aggro two of them? What the hell? This is... this is... yeah. That was weird. I also don't get why he's gray. And where does the second one come from? That is freaky. His attack was also insanely powerful. I assume it's some kind of, like, snipe attack that he charges for a long time, and if you don't interrupt it, it does lots of damage. That's the only way that would be balanced. Of course, I didn't realize he was aggroed. What the? What was that? I must hit the wrong button there. And there's a second one! I'm gonna die! I am at a loss. Like, you attack one, and a second guy spawns. Something is really buggy here. I don't think that's supposed to happen. I also want to know, what did I do? I guess I hit leap? I don't know, you guys, I'll rewind the tape and watch that, because... I must have been trying to hit... I don't know, I was going for uh, a natural might, which is, like, way across the keyboard from... Alright, I'm going to be very careful this time. Sorry if this is taking too long. Trust me, I feel your pain. I have 55 minutes left before I raid, and I really just want to... I really want to get a nap in today, because I woke up really early, and I want to be awake when we're raiding, because we're going to try Koratani, which we haven't cleared yet, and what I would very much like to clear. I mean, I could have maybe I hit the buff instead... Or I was trying to go for that, so I was trying to go for Channel Hatred. But even so, how did I hit... Like, Leap is R. Like, there's no way... If he attacks this time, I'll be ready. Okay, now we're okay. And that was like attacking one elite should not summon a second elite. That goes against all the balance issues they've ever had in this game, or all the balance precedents, rather. Like some of the toughest fights we've had in this game have been like one elite and one regular or two strongs, even when lore-wise they should have been two elites. So it wouldn't make any sense to have a random Republic elite who summons a second one. Something is fishy there. Alright. <laughs> Again, there's no exhaustive wiki for this, so... Can't look it up easily to see if there's a bug or not. And I know you could be saying, why don't you make a wiki yourself then, if you're complaining about it, but... It's not so much that nobody did, because people did when the game came out, which is, you know, it was obvious people would, because it's a popular game, people want to write guides to it, but whoever put the guide on the wiki decided to link it all to official Switchworth threads instead of actually making a guide right then and there, which they should have done. And because they restructured the Switchworth forums probably a few times since then, the links are all broken, 
which means no links are in existence because they're not going to redo them again because the game has been out a while now and uh, the initial surge is over. Probably should have killed a bit, shouldn't I? And there weren't other guides made at the time, apparently, because at the time there were already there was already one set of guide in existence, so why would you make a second? So that's kind of my gripe there. So if you're going to do a guide, do it right, because once you write a definitive guide on an easy-to-find wiki that people follow, that becomes the guide, and others don't write guides, because there already is the guide. And uh, by the time it gets broken, if you, don't, if you don't write it in a way that's going to be there permanently, then it's kind of too late for another one to be written. Anyway, <laughs> you can tell I'm getting desperate for things to talk about while we're killing endless mobs. Luckily, the LP is almost over. And Darth Barris almost dead. Alright, the shield generators are gone. See, that's another one of those random... Let's make you play the game war quests where you just... You know, there's there doesn't have to be shields there. You could have just gone right in. Story-wise, it's the exact same thing. And that's why I think... As much as I... You know, this is you my favorite MMO of all time. I've only played like two or three, but still. But uh, and one of my favorite games of all time in many ways... The fact that it is an MMO is still a major weakness that it forced Bioware to do some things they wouldn't normally do in a game. Sith, are you lost? You're in a Republic aligned corporate headquarters. Stand down. We are on the same side. I uh, don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. The consortium of corporations has cameras in every corporate lobby, so we are being observed by the Empire's enemies as we speak. A Sith comes in here, he's gonna meet resistance, so, uh, we're gonna have to kill you. Oh. Um, I'm not, I wish I could fake it somehow, but... You don't have to die. I know this is Darth Varen's headquarters. I'm a friend. I come in peace. And I mean it this time. What if I surrender and you can make a show of taking me into custody? There you go. Good plan. Follow my lead, my lord. With a goatee like that, he really has to be Imperial. All right, men. Make this look good. You're outnumbered, Sith. Put your hands up and don't make another move. Glad you came to your senses. Now you're going to our Chief of Security in the next room. Thanks for helping me avoid a messy situation, my lord. Lord Harish is in charge. He's just down there. Lord Harish? Where's the Dark Council guy? I don't like this. I thought I'd be finding him here. I'll have to go somewhere. Unless he's maybe just not letting me what? into the main. The alarms didn't sound. How did you get in here? Relax. I'm not the enemy. We know who and what you are. Sir Barris's most deadly apprentice has finally found us. My master has been on to you from the beginning. I am no longer Darth Barriss's apprentice. Yes, yes, we've all heard about Barriss betraying you. No one's buying it. Vauran can smell Barriss's ploys a thousand light years away. He knows the rift between you and your master is a ruse, painstakingly orchestrated to get you close enough to strike. So, drop the act. I can't say I blame the guy, because that is exactly like something Barriss would do. This time, however actually true. Vauron and I seek the same goal. My sole purpose is to destroy Darth Barris. So stubborn. We'll see your tune change when you're bleeding to death. Die, assassin. Alright, so we gotta fight this guy, and then uh, I guess spare him once he's low in health. That'll prove. Ha, ah, choke you back. I have dispatch or vicious throw. I, yeah, I need to fix my bindings at some point. This should probably be, you know, that's probably what it should be. I just, uh, this should go here. Dispatch should be here because I usually use project as a finisher. But then, like, where do I put <laughs> sweeping slash? Oh, there's not enough keybinds. I'll have to find a different one. Oh, he's actually dead. Well, that sucks. Hate spilling fellows of blood. 
Sometimes, though, I guess it's inevitable. Hopefully the... Well, if that guy was still standing guard there, I'm guessing the assassin has not got to his boss yet. So in that sense, it's good news. Where is Darth Balrond? You'll never find out, scum. You defeated Lord Harish, but you can't overcome the three of us at once. What about? Oh, is that Stop. him? Stop! Lord Kett, stand down. My lord, retreat oh. into the shadows. We will stop this assassin. The assassin's there behind could be you. There be ten of you, and you would fail. Leave us. Oh, I bet he's going to succeed. But I'm here. Like, I should be able to stop him, right? I haven't come to kill you. Please, don't insult my intelligence. I applaud you. Convey my congratulations to your master for his superior gameplay. The kill is yours. I ask only that I not suffer the indignity of decapitation. Well, he's an interesting fellow, so he'll give himself up. I've been sent by the Emperor's hands to ensure your safety. Barris is not my master. My mission is to bring him down. Nothing more can be gained by maintaining the deception. Ah. If this is true, then the game is renewed. Watch out. Come on, use the force. Uh -huh. Darth Valron, Barris says you gotta die. Barris strikes. <laughs> this guy's kind of wimpy for a Sith Lord. Thought he'd be like super brave from insufficient range. Oh, this. Uh huh. Gotta get used to the different key bindings now. Yeah, for a guy who fights in the front lines, I thought he'd be a little less willing to accept his fate. You're not going to surrender, are you? Alright. That assassin had me dead to rights. You did not hesitate to defend me. My friend, I am convinced. What's more, I believe, with my help. You can defeat Darth Barriss. I was hoping you'd say that. Then, uh, I have a little confession to make. It is true that I'm here to lead our important war effort, but there are other reasons I chose Corellia. Oh no. Significant pillars of Barriss's power base are here, and together we can tear them down. I'm interested in any chance to hurt Barriss, but he will make more attempts on your life. You must relocate to my ship, where my crew can protect you. Far be it from me to defy you. My protection here has taken a recent hit. But before I go, let me guide you. Most of the Dark Council knows Barris is not the Emperor's true voice, but Barris's two top agents force them to support his bid. One agent safeguards secrets that he uses as leverage. The other leads Jedi Masters in campaigns against Sith who defy him. Now, if they were to disappear... Tell me where to find them. I am still searching for Barriss's false Jedi, but expect results soon. I have the other agent in my sights. Colonel Sanks of the Karelian Resistance is Barriss's plant. His stronghold is a labyrinth of secret passages. Unless you scramble his security codes before laying siege, He'll be able to flee through a dozen different escape tunnels. Only a coward plans to flee. Colonel Sex is a survivor. He's smart, and I respect his work for the Empire. These pulse disruptors will kill all electronic code emissions, effectively locking Sex's secret passages. In truth, he's a fantastic resource. It will be a shame to lose an agent of his caliber. I'll compel him to denounce Barris and join you. An excellent solution, if it can be done. My remaining apprentices and I will report to your ship now. I expect to have information on Barris's second agent soon. May we both be swift. <laughs> like his little butt cape there is like the weirdest shape. Who designs these costumes? My lord, I have Darth Barron here for you. My friend, I am in the hands of your crew now. Good. <laughs> They are an interesting assortment. My people are capable, don't worry. 
I hope their talents are not required. If Sex doesn't hand over the files he safeguards once you've neutralized him, I advise destroying his database to eliminate it all. Uh, once done, contact me. But leave the compound first. It's Paris's facility and sure to be bugged. Until then. Good thinking. Alright, let's grab this reward. And I guess we've got some security consoles to destroy. <laughs> See, it's never as simple as just go there and kill the guy. That would be fine story-wise, but having to like disable the consoles, that's MMO crap. Alright, well, I will be back when we are in front of the first security council. Alright, here we are at the first station. 30 minutes until raid time. God, I wanted to like, eat food too, and but I really want to get this story done before we have to raid, because I don't know if I'll be tired or not afterwards. I guess, yeah, we'll have to fight these guys anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh well, I'll try to hurry though. Not too much left here. It'd also be really nice if it wasn't so unbearably hot in here. That's making me really irritable. Alright, hopefully this is the last, like, random quest and we can actually take down bears after this. Like, this is a long planetary quest line. We may actually have to, uh... Maybe we'll do these two in the episode no matter what, and then begin the final episode and finish the story. <laughs> Probably have to go to Drummond Cost to kill Barris, because he doesn't like to be Hey, I have a friend. Didn't realize I was not in an instant zone, actually. I figured I was. Yeah. Maybe he'll take on that guy and I can just run by him. I should probably help though, he helped me. Alright. Two birds, one skin. He's my level 48. Oh. There's a panel around here somewhere. He must be looking for it too. Disable security console. <laughs> Oh, it's upstairs. Oh, Whatever. There is no Only Alright, so we'll probably have to wait on a respawn because I'm not going to steal it from that guy. He's up there first. I just group up, but I'm not in the mood to be social right now. I might just have to eat, raid, and then come back and finish this tonight or tomorrow morning. It would just be really nice to like cross this off my goal list and get it out of the way. All right, I'll let him click on that, and I'll start killing these guys. And it shouldn't take long to respawn. They usually don't. Alright, and he can go call that guy. So I'm gonna wait here for this to respawn. Shouldn't take more than 30 seconds or so. That's a show I haven't seen in a while, Jeopardy. I used to really like Jeopardy. They always had like the. Yep, oh, there it is. Like the half hour Wheel of Fortune, half hour Jeopardy back to back. Not as big of a fan of Wheel of Fortune. Like, I didn't mind it, but. I like shows. Like nowadays. Well, I don't know about nowadays. I haven't watched game shows in a while, but. The more recent game shows, they take like forever to to answer a single question. Like I like Twist to be a Millionaire, but even that was like five minutes per question. I like shows that where they just ask you a question, you know it, you don't know it, whatever, next question. Like Jeopardy and uh, The Weakest Link. That was one of my favorite game shows. They had that one. Oh, did I? No, okay. Uh, I might have gone the wrong way, damn it. They had the like angry British lady and something. Who would like yell at them when they got the answers wrong. Anyway, you may have no idea what I'm talking about, but 
I needed something to fill the time. Like I said, I'm tired and I'm hot, so. Get what you get. All right, now we're in a phase. Speak to that code is right. this Colonel. Why aren't my escape passages opening? The answer just broke into your command center. Strong enough to demolish my forces and smart enough to take out my tech. When the alarm sounded, I knew there was trouble coming. Don't strike. I'm a secret Imperial agent working directly for Darth Barris. That's the problem. That's worse than being Republic. So, you're one of the rogue Sith I helped Darth Barris keep in line? You might oppose him, but surely you wouldn't jeopardize the war? I'm essential in the fight for Corellia. I steer Republic-aligned resistance forces into battles they can't win. Shut me down, and we lose this war. Cooperate, and you may survive this encounter. You collect secrets for Darth Barris. That must end. Give up the information you harbor for him. There's no future in denying Barris. I'm systematically tearing Barris down, and I'm still here. I see. Every regime eventually falters. I'd be wise to get out before the towers start crumbling. Seems to be good at that. I'll upload the files. There. Wipe from my system and relinquish to you. Does this earn your mercy? Sit still while I authenticate your information. Darth Vauron, I'm transmitting the materials from Colonel Senks's files. Excellent. Uh, let me look them over. Uh, yes, this is the leverage Darth Barris has over my fellow Dark Council members. <laughs> now, they are free of him. Does this mean I get to keep breathing and winning the war for Corellia? I leave that decision to my formidable friend. What do you say? Does Colonel Senks live or die? Senks, meet your new master. You heard him, Colonel. Your tenure under Darth Barris has ended. You answer to me now. Understood? Absolutely. I am yours to command. Now. If you'll excuse me, I must reprogram my security systems. Good work, my new friend. You are proving we can tear Barris down without compromising the Empire. I have news, but as I said, Barris likely has the place bugged. Uh, contact me when you clear the compound. Well, that I certainly will do. However, I think that's going to wait for the next episode. I'm going to end this one here, have some food, and when I come back... We will finish off... Oh, now we can use the Helicom. Well, still going to wait. Uh, and when we come back, we will finish off the Sith Warrior storyline. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys then.